It's an exciting Sunday night edition of the NBA on TV Sports. Moments away, it'll be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Oklahoma City Thunder here in Oklahoma City. With Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll be hearing from David Aldridge on the sideline. DA, take it away. Thank you very much. Well, it may be hard to remember now, but Joel Embiid did miss his first two seasons due to injuries. He said, it was rough. Think about what I went through and how it prepared me to be a better man. I really feel like I'm the process, and the process is about me. So every time I step on the court, it's all about having fun. I'm just enjoying my time in the league. Kevin, back to you. A lot of depth in there, David. Thank you for that one. While we get a break, let's take a look at the October standings out west. Taking a look at Oklahoma City. They're still struggling, trying to string something together, getting a lot of wins. The competition, though, is so tough. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Front court filled in by Green at three and Harris at the four. Curry is out there with D'Angelo Russell. And it's Embiid in at the pivot, manning the middle. And for the Thunder, they've got favors. Gilgis Alexander out there with Lou Dort. And it's Giddy in at the shooting guard position. Greg, for teams that are slow out of the gate, their fans can really be impatient and unforgiving. Yeah, immediate too. I mean, I played New York, so in that town, you go big or you get talked about. And it happens in small towns as well. It's just a harsh reality. Pro sport. Now, here is Russell. Fades. And Embiid. The bucket is being used by Russell. But the defense better make sure they're sticking to all four other players or else the intro is going to find the open. Here's Giddy. Here's Gilgis on the team. It's held in by Harris. Curry against Dort. Curry dishes to Embiid. It's to Russell. And a shot, no good. And the Thunder going the other way. Tough loss coming against the Rockets in the last game they played. Well, and that's where you can pretty much see the writing on the wall. Their performance was lackluster. Yeah, and they didn't get like, blown out in that game, but it felt deflating. It felt like they got crushed. They could not get anything going, no matter who they had out in the court. Here's Russell. After the made shot from Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Russell missing. For him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. Short passes to Gilgis Alexander. Flavors with a screen on Russell. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Nice duty from Russell. For Philadelphia, they've gone one and three for the field to start this one so far. Inside. And if you want to talk about a player who embodies the power game, then it beats your man. You know you're going to get some strong finishes anytime he's on the court. Shot from front. Bank shot. No good. Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring, but let's see if he can eventually get back on the track. It's blocked. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Outside, Green. Favors against Embiid. And the rebound goes to the front. And this is the first season matchup for them against the 76ers team. It's an East versus West matchup tonight. First meeting of the year between these two. Yeah, fun to see maybe strangers because you just aren't familiar with these faces here tonight. This will be a very exciting game. This season in being most of career high as is a score. And Greg, he did it with unbelievable efficiency. Yeah, how about a hard play around that coveted 50-40-90 club? 
What's amazing is how comfortable he looks. The defense is able to speed him up. Here's Kitty. Tort passes to Gilgis Alexander. Thunder came over in that Paul George trade. He exploded after that. On the pitch, the Thunder got. But Gilgis Alexander has been the biggest return by far. Exploded once he arrived with the Thunder. The first one drops. When Shea Gilgis and Alexander, he'll attack the rim as often as you let him. That's impressive stuff, too, for a young player to just rely on the fact that they are relentlessly going to attack any opposition defensively and try to get to the free throw line and take that kind of contact. And that's what Shea does. Alexander, the big European movement to get players into the NBA. Seems like recently it's come from the Great White North. As Jake Gilgis Alexander has come down to make an impact in the NBA. And the wide open shot from Green. Good and Curry gets the assist. And he's not gonna miss that sort of an opportunity from D. Dort passes to Gilgis Alexander. It's stolen by Green. He's his first foul of the game. That That's really good defensive play, play, play to cut him off there. It's and that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. And so it's short with it. He brings it up for Oklahoma City. It's a three-point game. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Passes it to Giddy. Lock at six. Plus agility. Great recipe for blocking shots. Embiid's one of the best to do it. They turn it over. And let's see the stat sheet here on Joel Embiid. He's coming off an excellent season. Fourth in scoring, tenth in rebounding, and a top 15 ranking in blocks per game. Supplying that backline protection that is so key to a great defense. And clearly one of the dominant scorers we have in this league. His top five ranking last year puts him right there in the ranks of the elite. Now, here is Russell. Game. It's a long road, but I tell you what, he is definitely taking steps. And the first one at the line is good. I don't think there's any question about the talent level that D'Angelo Russell has. Now it's about planting his seeds so that the roots grow with an organization. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Lots of room. Gilgis Alexander knows that this is an assist play in the making of the the open man. That's Paris Russell. There's MP. And he recovers it. Back to Russell. Goes back up. And the rejection by Tabers. A great defense from Tabers. Has that sense for a to go to the block. Gotta love the effort there. Not a size four. You can really make things happen with that leaping ability. Now 
now here's Curry. His last outing, he had eight points. And then for the Bottoms, Lord Alfield will retain possession of the ball. Courtesy of the 2K leaderboard, here's a peek at the league's top scorers from a season ago. Fourth, Joel Embiid. And looking back, his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. Good, and it's a brilliant pick up the assist. Embiid's got six points. And showcasing that overwhelming strength. Embiid is so skilled at finishing over the aggressive defense. Now, here's Jesus Alexander. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Shane Gilgis Alexander taking two shots. On the 76ers with some changes. Andre Drummond's checked in for Joel Embiid. Shake Milton comes in for Curry. And Maxie subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. And he can't hit the second. And if you look at the leaders in the rebounding, it's almost a sure thing that Drummond's name is going to be near the top of that list. And that's the kind of impact on the board he's made over his career. Matisse Thibault so gets it for Danny Green. Matisse Thibault. Oklahoma City Trail. And Greg, when it comes to players who led the league in rebounding, very few have done it as many times as Drummond. And the, the guys that have done it more than twice, like Andre, have got some good news for them. Every one of them is either in the Hall of Fame or super worthy. Philadelphia has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Now Drummond. Takes it for 10. The pass to Maxi. Some of the moving the ball around. Block at four. Here's Thibault. Here's Drummond. And it's Drummond with the jam. And Drummond can sit on that weak side block or in front of the rim. He'll just be a tough guy to move out from the lane. He'll get those offensive rebounds. Now, here's Lucas Alexander. He has five. I hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. The shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Here's Harris. Three point lead. There's the try. Makes it off the glass. Tobias can't take you off the bounce. He has that strong face-up game and creates offense that time. Guys are looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lead off. Here's Rope. It's good to go again with the drive. Fire on the shot. Picks up two points. So a free throw coming up. That's going to send Shane Gilgis Alexander to the free throw line. That one on Maxi. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the 76ers. They pounded the ball inside of the first half, forcing the defense to collapse, and that frees up the shooters going forward. I'm loving the ping-pong action of the ball tonight. A decent number of assists so far. The free throw off from Gilgis Alexander. And for old school cities like Andre Grimm, the modern NBA posing some challenges, he's not quite the floor space. Well, he's not, but still on the defensive end, I think, G.A., if you have a guy that plays on the side, and against certain teams that play another compact big, he becomes a guy who can clog up the lane, block shots, and still be a deterrent on the inside. Here's Gilgis Alexander. The major number one play And already, they've got a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the back. Now, 
Oh, here's Maxie. Here's just Alexander Cup. Here's Harris. All that athleticism from Tobias Harris showing that time. And he's also a bit of a stopper defensively. They put him in, and their defense really tightens up. This is his specialty. He sits on the bench, he gauges what's happening offensively, and he comes in and sticks the opponent's top scorer to freeze him out. Jerome passes to Bayfield. A shot missing. Some solid defense from Harris. To the middle. Here's Drummond. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Drummond's got six points. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Hold on, pass it to Baseball. Here's Root. Defended by Drummond. Driving to the basket. Jerome good. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Here's Harris following the score by Oklahoma City. And number five. This is a decision in his approach. For Philadelphia, they have been one of the two free throws so far today. And last season, 77% from the line. They could usually get the job done there. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. The record 19 has been in 2011 out of Tennessee. Tobias Harris came into the league very, very young. So his experience belying his age and the improvement has been shown over the past couple of years. Good on the second, so he makes them both. A great player on a great role. A 
a charity strike, but he has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Aladon passes to Basley. Tipped away and stolen by Drummond. Here's Harris. Down he goes. He's now through the four. An agile he can get his hand in there and get the steal. Intelligent play to immediately start the break. And he rolls Mallet up. Nothing out of the scoreboard for him. And that one comes up a bit short. Uh, team rebounding is a great measure of its energy. And theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. Here's Drummond. It's tipped. Over to the wing. Here's Jerome. They'll cover with another miss. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot. Even with little or no defense on it. Milton. Up it counts. And now it's an 11-point Philadelphia lead. And not hard to see why we are giving up points on this one. Just too many good looks from in close. It's a nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Over the pass to Alvaro. And he gets two assists. Two free throws coming up. Three two. That's his second personal foul. First trip to the line for him here. At the line for your Oklahoma City. Take a little bit of a At the line for two. And he makes the first. And the Thunder making a change here. Favors has checked in. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Joel Embiid. He's checked in for Tobias Harris. He makes one of two that time. Philadelphia leading by 10. A leader. It's good. Nice touch there from Mexi. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to sum it up. A little more sense of urgency. Here's Basley, guarded by Embiid. Here's Basley. Over MD, and as the first quarter brings up, already at the cover of the league. 76ers lead by 12. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from OKC Arena. being more aggressive, um, you know, just look to impose myself, just look to dominate, I guess I need to go back to having fun and just dominate then. And certainly Embiid has shown he can dominate. MVP level talent. He's just got to bring it every time down the floor. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And the 76ers have been rolling along, haven't they? Yeah, in that first quarter, they looked at pushing transition at a heavy opportunity. It felt like they knew that there were openings in transition and just wanted to keep trying to feed that, get out quick. And so, in the game for the 76ers, outside the wings of Curry and Green. Joel Embiid out there with Andre Drummond. And it's Russell in at the one spot. There might be more talent at the point guard position now, Craig, than there's ever been in the NBA. But who do you think sits at the top of that list? I mean, Kevin, there's so many incredible talents 
Not that I'm dodging it, but honestly, it, the beauty is in the eye of the ball. It depends on how it kind of tickles your fancy in terms of the point guard. If it's the ability to shoot and play without it, steps at the top of your list, but then you get a guy like Chris Paul, who I think is as good as anybody's ever been in the pick and roll. So they're, they're just different ways to approach this thing. And of course now, it's about four or five guys that I should have added into this conversation. George Mitchell. They have been more dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in cracking this huge one. And B with the screen on Favors. Here's Russell. Favors with the rebound. Favors got six rebounds in the game. They need a bucket in a big way here to engage the conference. Here's George. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. Here's Curry. He takes it in. It's rebounded by Giddy. Under trailing by 14. Favors with the screen. Giddy the best to Vooten. Can't hit from in close. And so Curry will bring it up with the Philadelphia 76ers. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Russell gets to MB. Back to Russell. Six to shoot. Fires the three. That shot, no good. And the Thunder going the other way. Following this one, they get to host the Warriors. And that will be the middle game of this three-game homestand. Here's Favors. It's good. He scores. That's his first goal. After missing his first two attempts, now one for three. And Favors, very reliable around the rim. And he's down over either shoulder. Let's go down to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Coming into last season, the Thunder had posted a winning record every year for more than a decade. But when they decided to rebuild, they were all in and promoted their G League coach, Mark Dagnall, to head coach. He said adversity tests the connection of the team, tests everything, shows you who you are. Guys, way to start. Thanks, DA. Alexander comes in from Aladon. Harris is checked in for the 76ers.
Russia. A free throw drops for Embiid. It really an underrated part of Embiid's game. Excellent as a foul shooter for a seven-footer. So you just can't hack away at it. Now here's Gilkish Abitin. Just points in the game so far. And it's sent back by Russell. Pass to Harris. The leader. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Giddy has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Dort with the ball. Now three defending. Dort misses. This touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. And B with the screen on Gilgis Alexander. Now here's MB. He started closely. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. You know, on the way up, Embiid's strong physically, but also mentally able to keep his focus. Gilgis had a team again, and it's good for two. He's got a left. Very great option he gives them in every possession. So looking it over. Embiid touched the pick for Hills. Outside Curry. After Russell, a three. Good on the triple. And the 76ers lead by 18. Now, assists like that have typified their effort to be terrific ball movement. Russell against Gilgis City on D. They trail by 16. Russell passes to Embiid on the way. Harris down to five on the shot clock. From 15 feet away, and Curry the bucket on the assist from Tobias Harris. Curry's got his first two points. Well, for Tobias Harris to take this step, getting away from scoring and finding teammates to become a more adept passer, it's good signs. Philadelphia also making a switch. Maxi's checked in.
Thunder trailing by 18. Jerome passes to Gilgis Alexander. Made in with a nice touch on the ball. And that's 15 points for Shea Gilgis Alexander. Outside crew. And Harris wide open. He shoots. And they recover it. Here's Embiid. No good that time. Oklahoma City's on 0-3 from the from the start of the second quarter. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two. That's second person. Just Alexander does a good shot for staying aggressive, and that just forces the defense to do something. And this is his fourth trip to the free throw line tonight. Just has to found his form at the line here in the first half. He's checked in for Dortch. Matisse Thibault's checked in for the 76ers. Shake Milton comes in for Seth Curry. Gilgis <laughs> Alexander hits him both. 76ers leading by 14. They go with the ball. Down low. Back to MB. Shot clock at six. The three ball. Fiber can't get it to go. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Thunder. Williams passes to Jerome. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Takes it inside. Rebound by the 76ers. They led by as many as 18 points. But coming off that win against the Nets. I, I like their aggressiveness in that one. No one's going to give you anything. You've got to go out and take it. And going back and watching that game, there was not one spot on the floor that they did not own. Here's Gilgis Alexander. After the main shot from Joel and Beaton. Over Milton. Hilgis Alexander can't get it to go. For Philadelphia, they've won 7-14 in the second quarter. Shooting to the tune of 50%. Axie passes to Harris. Here's MP. Yes, he's good at the assist from Harris. Harris has got three assists now in this one. Under trailing by 18. Gilgis Alexander looking around. Here's Rope, guarded by Embiid. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got nine rebounds now tonight. Now, here's Maxi. Gilgis Alexander coming. And Embiid moves it down. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. Always a good sign of maturity and steps forward when you can take this kind of effort, focus, and concentration on the road. From the last game has carried over overnight. And the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Now here is Harris. His last outing, he had eight points. And B kicks to Milton. Now, here's Maxi. Gilgis Alexander cover. And if you have to admire his confidence on that, but uh, there's no way that's how far. Coaches will tell you that's a bad shot. Teammates will tell you that. That's his first one for him. And the left hand for Darius Baisley. Brent can hurt you inside and in outside. But he's more comfortable on the attack where he's able to put the ball down on the floor and extend and use his athletic ability. But he is gaining some confidence in that shot. And in the offseason, if you work hard enough, you can come back the next year 
uh, and really show that you're more of a weapon on the outside than you were the year before. And he knocks down the football, and the Thunder making a switch here. Favors is checked in. The 76ers also with a sub. Drummond's checked in for Embiid. Hey guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect. This boy. Drummond passes to Maxi. Bobbed up there from Drummond. And in front of LU Jam. Well, I love it. It's eye contact with his teammate. The ball in great position. And Andre does the rest. And there's the pass to Basley. It's a nice pass to my Oklahoma City. Drummond working against Favors. Pass to Basley. Out of bounds, but Philadelphia takes possession. And taking a look at some of the stats here for Gilgis Alexander. Coming off a terrific season. Last season put up about 23 points per. Six assists and four rebounds. They're loving how he's running the show here. His sensational passing, really breathing life into their offense. Something in the coach's playbook here where the schemes fire on all cylinders when he is in the game. A great conduit for them offensively. He knows where everyone is at all times. Now here's the No points in the game in three. Will just Alexander passes to Fabers. To the inside. Jerome. And here's the drive over Harris. Jerome, no good. And 76ers leading by 18. There's a minute 34 left to play here in the half. On 10 feet out, and it's blocked by Kildress Alexander. Right side, Williams. Here's Wilkes Alexander. He's started close. He can't connect from short range. Harris with him. Favors picks him up. Harris misses. And Wilkes Alexander's got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. It's an 18-point game. And it's Harris off the drive. Another miss by Philadelphia. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. Left side, Georgia Challenge in. Here's Basley, defended by Milton. Basley passes to Jerome. Over Harris. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. And 76ers leading by 18. Run by Harris. You gotta love his aggressiveness to finish inside. Well, his leaping ability gives him a great advantage. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Tight defense on him. It's Williams, high post. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Favors with a screen on Harris. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers closing out the quarter with a 20-point lead. Their defense has been active and effective. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thanks. Joel, you've got the lead, so how do you build on that as the game continues? Uh, just to keep being, uh, being aggressive. Uh, I thought we did a good job defensively, so we just got to keep being aggressive and make a play. Hey, they always build off of their defense here. Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. Halftime is here. And what better way to tip it off 
than to analyze the latest news on the trade front. And sometimes these trades can really change a team's fortunes. I mean, Shaq, um, were you ever traded? Uh, just, I think, I mean, just once from Miami to Phoenix. Yeah, right. And did you change the Suns' fortunes? Um, not really, but it's a long story. We got time. Oh, my gosh. Nah, not today. And now let's look at how Joel Embiid played in that first half. I'd say incredible. Well, I can say he's been MFPS, and that stands for Most Frequent Prolific Scorer. If you don't know anything about me, he's been efficient. He's really the man driving the force in their offense. Look, when he's rolling like this, good luck slowing him down. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. If this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You know, Shea Gilgis Alexander has been exceptional here tonight, guys. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. We've got Gilgis Alexander. Edwards is out there with Lou George. And it's Giddy in at the two. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Obi the pass to George. Favorite sets the pick for George. Feeds to Fulton. Passes it to Giddy. And that's the two from the Dukes coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The Thunder have checked them off pretty well from the line going into the line. At the line for Oklahoma City. Taking two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. No good on the second free throw. The 76ers leading by 19 points. Harris dishes to Russell. Here he goes. Now the feed to MB. It's a nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Just five to shoot. And the reaction by Fiji. And he's able to get it back. Now, here's George. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. Here's Roby. That one's rebounded by Embiid. Embiid's got 11 rebounds in the game. Curry passes to Green. And that one drops for him. Green's got five points so far. They are just killing him on the interior. There's the pass to Fabers. And here is Dort. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Inside, Louis Fables. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got four assists now tonight. Outside, Green. Last to MB. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. They get their space personal foul. And who draws the foul when in beat? Very few players, if any. Too much size and, and really too much skill to defend. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. Taking two shots. The 
free throw drops for MB. Both good from the line that time. Under trailing by 21. Dort passes to Gilgis Alexander. That's his third foul of the game. That's his third yeah, way to get there first and was Steve willing was. to absorb the contact. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as much as Steve gets. Hold on, checked in for the Thunder. Philadelphia leading by 21. Outside, Russell. Oh, and he pops it off the glass. And now a fast break for the Thunder. Here's Roby. And it's Russell with the rebound. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Pass to Embiid. Over favors. That one is good for Joe Hall and Bede. And Bede's got four points this quarter. Hey guys, we've become accustomed to this. And Bede's a dynamic scorer who's comfortable shouldering the offensive load. Now, here's Melida. Favors at the elbow. This is it to Giddy. Favors with a screen on court. Here's Giddy. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. Embiid's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Now, here is Russell. He's tightly guarded. And the reaction by the Fugans. Russell, the end the offer. He can't hit that shot. And it's Oklahoma City the other way. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've got a long time without a button. And Jen shot, and it's Favors laying it in. Favors got six. Such determination on the glass. Not boxing out Favors is a mistake that you cannot afford to make. Excellent season. Put up about 19 points a game, six rebounds, and three assists. And it says a lot that when we see numbers like this from him, we aren't even shocked. He, he's that good. Yeah, and we really have just grown to get used to his greatness, and that's the level for him that he's on right now. In the third quarter, with just over three and a half minutes off the clock, the pass to Embiid. Over favors. That went off the back iron and out. 
he wanted to keep that shot from getting blocked, but in the process, he gave it no chance of going in because of how he was on the face. If you give him a major space, he's going to make it. And New York has made a name for himself on defense. He is a superstar stopper. But he's kind of with this play. Harris finds Russell. Cool. And Harris gets the assist. Russell's got his second bucket of the night. I think Devo has all sorts of confidence when he has that kind of spot in his arsenal. Followed on passes to Fabers. Here's Roof, guarded by Harris. Pass to Melodon. Shot clock at five. And the rejection by Embiid. Up top, Curry. He's covered by Favors. Feeds it to Embiid. Over Roby. That one is good for Jermaine Embiid. Embiid's got six here in this quarter. Frank, the way toward his handled guy is like LeBron and Harden. He does as well as anyone when it comes to defending them. Yeah, I mean, he's small but strong and really hard to bump off his spot. We could have to stay with anyone on their drives and just turn him into a great shutdown defender. Well, his shots aren't dropping, and they haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough to keep going to him, see if he can find it. Okay, well, let's go down to Devin Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, thank you, Kevin. Well, the NBA revenue is climbing to millions of dollars. Teams have even more resources. Staffs are growing. More coaches, trainers, and specialists. Managers have more to leverage than ever. Generally, the best organizations are those that effectively collaborate and communicate across the board. Kevin? And DA, as we know, that's always been the case. Thank you. And Philadelphia making a change here. Drummond's checked in. And so Russell hits them both. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this time. Here's Giddy, guarded by Curry. With the drive. They get it back. Here's Dort. No good with the triple. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Pass to Embiid. Back to Curry. He's looking for Drummond and finds him. Curry's down the alley-oop slam. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Here's Rope. Tour wide open. Trains the three-pointer. Dort's got five points. Well, if you're looking for a three and D player, Dort plays D, and there's your three. Curry passes to Russell. Over Maladon. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Giddy's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Passes to Dort. From past the arc. And again, Oklahoma is with the triple. Terrific from beyond here in the second. Now, here is Russell. He's covered closely. Embiid wide open. Good at the reasonable picking up the assist. Embiid's got nine points now in the quarter. Oklahoma City's gone two or three when they've been outside the arc in the third quarter.
the 76ers with some changes. Matisse Thibel checked in for Green. Jake Milton comes in for Curry. And Maxi subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. get to work. For Oklahoma City, they've gone 6 of 14 since halftime. They don't go into the field. The pass to Basley. Favors in the post. Working on trouble. Favors passes to Maladon. That one good for two. Maladon's got four points this quarter. And that's how you draw it up right there. A screen, you shed the defense, a quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. Up top, MB. Rebounded by Oklahoma City. Pass to Jerome. Wide open look. Milton grabs the ball. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that and cost you another play. And Drummond picks to MB. Here's Milton. A three-pointer is right on target. Milton's got five points so far. And for a big man, MB sees the floor as well as any big. Recognizes when one of his guys has an opening for a shot. Now, oh, here's Melida. He's got five. Here's Basley, guarded by Embiid. Just five on the clock. Favors with the screen. Here's Melida. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. Seven of Sixers have gone. Eight of 16 in the third quarter to put their second half shooting percentage right at 50%. Running right the screen. Bob up there from Drummond. Drummond's going to go right back up into that physical play, and he's still going to finish strong. Aladon passes to Williams. Faber sets the pick for Williams. Here's Basley, guarded by Embiid. Shoots a fader. The shot by Basley, no good. Yeah, I have no idea why he went with the fadeaway there. The defense was nowhere near him, and he should have just kept it simple. The numbers in their favor. Williams with three. It's Drummond with the rebound. Drummond's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Here's Maxi. Williams with the block. They get it back. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. And a three-point play is right here. One for three coming up. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. And what he has so far got the offensive approach for Philadelphia. They keep piling up the assists, and they haven't cooled off at all. The other thing they've done is had penetrating passes inside in the interior. Plenty of points in the paint. Looking at who's out there now for the Thunder. Muscala comes in for Derek Favors. And Shea Gilgis Alexander subbed in for Maladon. Oklahoma City is on 2 of 5 with a three-point shot since coming out of the break. They set the pick. Now Williams, he's still scoreless so far in this one. Six on the shot clock. And they get it. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And it's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Good time effort. The putback. It's good on the putback. You see that nasty streak Embiid possesses. Part of why he's a superstar. Great motor. Now here's Williams. Here's Basley. Out of bounds. 
Sixers ball and a brief check of stats for Williams. Last season's performance for him averaged about eight points a game last season. Four rebounds and two assists. And he's a nice scoring threat in their second unit, a guy who provides an instant offense. And he has really settled into this role. For some guys, maybe him, they'd rather come off the bench and do their damage. Now here's Williams. There's a minute left in the third. Passes it to Baisley. Outside Williams, and it's Curtis Alexander in the corner. Over Maxi. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Now, here's Milton. Guarded close. And that's good. A nice jump in the grass as they pick up two on the second effort. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. That yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. Now, here is Muscala. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet for him. Paisley, good. There's more time on the floor. The confidence from Darius Paisley continues to grow. And here's Maxie. And the pass to Embiid. His work on the glass was outstanding in that quarter. Great rebounding. Right back after this break. a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first cop right out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can go out and assist the team when he needs to. Even though the position is called shooting guard, passing part of your responsibilities in today's game. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Philadelphia dictating the flow. And so, in the game for the 76ers, they've got court Read Reed out there with Andre Drummond, and it's Niang in at the three. Now, here's Drummond. He's covered by Moscala. Six to shoot. Hop up there for Drummond. It's going by Moscala. Puts up a three. Akusevsky can't hit. One item that stood out, their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. Now, this is when the game slows down for a big man like Andre Drummond. He can make those kind of plays. The Thunder shooting at a 32% clip from the field. They're just not executing. Here's Mann. And it's Reed pulling it down. Philadelphia shooting at 51%. Really so. As to Drummond. And now a fast break for the Thunder. Muscala. Muscala's got his first two points of the night. And good passing in the paint may be even more important to an offense than great passing on the perimeter. Those are areas where you got to be careful. As to Drummond. And back in the day, Greg, Allen Iverson got criticized for devaluing practice. Now, we've got healthy players sitting out of game. Has load management gone too far, I think? Not a practice, but a game. We got guys missing games, Kevin. There's no doubt about it. But I, honestly, I'm really all for load management in this regard. If I owned a team and I had to invest $200 million in a player, I want to do everything I can to prolong my investment. And the reality is we've got our stars playing at unprecedented lifts at higher levels later in their career. So I'm all for doing 
doing what we can to prolong the careers of our very best players. Count it, and he's got eight or nine from the floor. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's Deck. Williams passes to Parker Sefsky. Five on the clock. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. Williams, that's a two-pointer. That shot off. Now the 76ers take it the other way. To the paint. A nice shot by Reed. Reed's got his first points in this one. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. This is it to Jack. Here's Pakusevsky. Buscala with the ball. Over Drummond. And he overshot that one. Missing. Here's Korkmaz. To the middle. Here's Reed. Again, Philadelphia. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Oklahoma City has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Outside Williams takes the 13 footer. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. The 76ers have gone an outstanding 4 of 5 in the field in the fourth quarter so far. And Drummond with the jam. Everything the big man is doing right now is going his way. Andre Drummond, have a night. Williams passes to Jack. And now that we've gotten the chance to be great, what do you think of the playing tournament? I mean, it definitely has some pros and cons. We want to keep as many teams as possible engaged down the stretch, but it's a long season, and for some teams, it just got a little bit longer. Now, here's Drummond. Drummond is double. Back to Korkmaz. That one, wide left. Thunder shooting a low, 30% mark from the field. Here's Williams. It's deflected. Here's Springer. Drummond with a screen on Williams. Springer the pass to Drummond. Here's Springer. He's guarded by Williams. Top of the key. Springer can't get it to go. The shot's there for him. And he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue. The Thunder with another miss. And the 76ers with possession. They might score in 10 points to two during this one. Back to Kirkmans. Now the pass to Reed. Here's Springer. He shoots again. Indeed, Drummond comes it in. Drummond's got six here in this quarter. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Man passes to Pogosevsky. He kicks it to Muscala. And Pogosevsky with the shot. So what we shoot him for the That's his first regular play for the Spurs. He plays the player rest. More and more teams have followed that same move over the seasons. Going at low management, even risking fines. And he keeps with the way things are done. Well, I understand the, the fans' complaint, you know, to think about being a, a 10 year old boy or girl and, and Take a LeBron break. James Take a is break. coming to your city and it's a load management day and he's not playing and so the league understands it it understands it from its broadcast partners and the way that they want the star players to be involved in, in every game that they play and they've tried to adjust the schedule and moved it around a little bit doing away with back-to-backs I, I think it'll be a constant battle uh, but the organizations are investing in these players and health is their number one issue. They want them to play as many games for as long as they can at an elite level. So we'll see how it goes in the, in the next couple of years. That's also good. So he hits both Now the 76ers with it. They're on a 12-4 run. Hands to Harris. 
This one for three, and a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Uh, it's a shot that Tobias Harris is really working hard on to become more consistent as a threat from the three point line. Now, here's Merida. Defense is right there. The Thunder with another miss. The 76ers have gone 7 of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. Wings and South looks for them. Down low. Muscala gets the bucket. Muscala's got six in the quarter. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist really the key to that entire sequence. Reed dishes the curve. Going inside. And what? That one goes careening off the glass. Aladon passes the door. Green is turned over to the court and for on the experience. That's just how valuable is a good relationship you think between the players and a team's executive leadership. Well, Kevin, I don't think it's much different than a good friendship. You don't have to take it away from the court and think about things in your life that impact you. It's somebody that shows that they they care for you beyond what it is that you bring to the table. And that's the most important part about earning and, and trying to gain trust with the players that you bring into any take a break. program. Take a break. Is that you want to let them know that you care and you want to let them know that you have interest in them as people first. And if you can get to that point, uh, that, that foundation and platform to build out a player and to have him grow with the organization, uh, that's, a, that's a priceless relationship. Rugen's door continues to find ways to impress you and expand his offensive game, but he knows he's coming to the league as a defender and he takes a tremendous amount of pride in it. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Favors is checked in. Embiid, he's checked in for Philadelphia. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. And it's Harris with the ball for the 76ers. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. Russell dishes to Harris. To the middle. Here's Embiid. He sees it right off the glass. Now, here's Melodon. He's guarded by Russell. Over the pass to Dort. Shoots. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. Philadelphia's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. 5 of 12. Pass to Embiid. And it's Russell picking the assist. Russell's got three assists now in this one. Offensively, we see him be all over the floor, but inside is where he can really utilize that size. Here's Melody. Nice team from Russell. Now the 76ers with it. They're on a 17 to 7 run. Here's Curry. No good off the back of the rim. There's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Here's Giddy. Guarded by Curry. Giddy the pass to Fabius. Back at six. Here's Melodon over Russell. Melodon with the bucket. Yeah. The key was to bite on the pump. They left his feet way too soon. Now, here is Russell. Not a lot of room. Harris' is shot Harris. is good. Well, Harris at 6'9 is a big body, and the defense has got to do a better job of pushing him outside the paint. Now, here's Favors. Pass to George. Now, here's Melida. Favors with a screen on Russell. Melodon passes the big terrific assist. A nice move, a solid play all around. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. Russell finds and beat. And Greg with recent legal results. Four opportunities now for compensation for college athletes. Uh, do you like it? I mean, there's enough money going around. 
have a problem with the athletes getting a share, especially with the amount of time and effort and energy they have to commit. Let's take care of the guys. Let them enjoy it. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch for his knee. Changes for Philadelphia. Steibel. Matisse Steibel comes Sit. in for Green. And it's Shake Milton in for Curry. Get over, get over. Here's Melodon. Milton grabs the board. He's got four rebounds in this game. The pass to Embiid. No good on that one. Great D that time from Favors. Oklahoma City's won in his big from the point they know of four to the start of the final quarter. Favors with a screen on Embiid. And Giddy gets it to go. And you're not going to pass up that kind of thing. A minute 50 left in the game. Outside, Russell. Shot clock at six. And Embiid, the bucket on the assist by Russell. Russell's got assist number five here tonight. And that's just cold blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Confidence is sensational, and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring. They get the rebound. George and Feibel sends it back. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout, big-time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a golly win for the 76ers. We don't see this kind of blowout off tonight. This is a quality win across the board to deliver out to some of the They definitely never changed the approach of it. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And this one will go down as win number three. And so they'll take the first game of the season series and see they'll see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Joel Embiid. Just knows how to fill it up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. Nobody that they assigned to him could really get a handle on him. Here's Russell after the main shot from Joel Embiid. Here's Milton. Great tee that time from Faber. And here now the Thunder. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside Williams. On deep. And they force the major point violation. Great tee. 76 is back. Now, here's Milton. So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily. As we were stunned by the manner in which their team was to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Hey, thank you, Kevin. Joel, congrats on the win, a quality win. How did you secure it? Oh, we played. We were tough tonight. We won soft. Uh, we shared the ball defensive, and we were really good. And that's what we got to do the rest of the season. Well, you're building towards something good, man. Congratulations on the win. Kevin? All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Owen, this is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, Joel Embiid.